Some intriguing new evidence has emerged that it may not be how you exercise, but when you exercise, it may give you an edge. In tonight's original report, Amanda Starantino has the body clock boost. In less than an hour, the day is done. Did you get your workout in, or are you just waiting for the right time? Chrissy Field is packed with hikers, bikers, windsurfers. With so much activity, we ask the question, when's the best time for you to work out? In the afternoon. In the mornings. Either at 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. for me. Uh, yeah, mine's as soon as I finish work. Any time of day. Clocking in some sports scientists from the Netherlands. Meet Dr. Patrick Schroeren. That was quite surprising. His team studied a moderate exercise routine on two dozen men. All were pre-diabetic, meaning their blood sugar levels were higher than normal. After 12 weeks of doing the exact same routine, everyone had better cardiovascular health. But those who worked out late in the day got a bigger bang, metabolically speaking. Those people that trained in the afternoon had more beneficial effects of the exercise training than uh, the people that trained in the morning. The afternooners had a bigger drop in blood sugar and significantly more control over it. They also lost more belly fat than those who exercised in the morning. I thought it was absolutely fascinating. Dr. Linda Frasetto of UCSF specializes in kidney diseases, including those brought on by diabetes. For years, she has studied how certain foods, such as those eaten by our prehistoric ancestors, can lower blood sugar and improve metabolic health. Essentially means eliminating all processed foods. Now, afternoon exercise appears to do the same thing. The idea that it makes a difference what time you exercise in terms of the results you get was just an astounding idea. As to why time of day makes a difference, that too may harken back to our Paleolithic past. This may be due to the fact that our ancestors hunter-gatherers or farmers went out to the wild. They had to run back before sunset. Dr. Sachin Panda of the Salk Institute is a world expert in circadian rhythms. In other words, our internal 24-hour biological clocks. Every cell in our body has one. These clocks are controlled and synced up by a master clock the brain. They carry out essential functions in a particular order. The body cannot do everything like sleeping, eating, and exercise at once. Thanks to these clocks, humans know when to wake up, when to fall asleep, even when to optimize metabolism. Since prehistoric times, they're calibrated daily by a predictable event. The sun will rise up and in the evening, it'll become dark. Dr. Panda believes the end of the day may be the best time to exercise because the daylight is ending and our muscles, joints, and metabolism have reached peak capacity. Where you can exercise more with less effort. Dr. Schroen believes an afternoon workout may help us to faster metabolize the last meal of the day, put us into a deep sleep, and into a fasting state. Fasting gives you all kind of biological responses that basically try to improve your health. As for Dr. Frasetto, she believes it's time to replicate this study in a larger group of people. There's clearly something about the circadian rhythms that affect the way our body works. If you can't work out in the afternoon, no worries, experts say. Any exercise is good exercise no matter the time. In San Francisco, I'm Amanda Starantino, KPX5. Now, to better understand your circadian clock and to figure out ways to reset it for optimal health, thanks to the Salk Institute, there is an app for that. For more information, just go to our website, kpix.com.